Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make some really cool natural encapsulates. Now you can use these encapsulates for visual effects, but also to deliver some actives in your finished products. Let me show you how they're made. Now first of all I'm starting with some water here and then I have a variety of gums. I've got some xanthan gum, I'm adding this to uh, some propane dial. And of course you can contact us for full details of this formula, it's far too much to put on a screen. I'm also adding some carrageenan and I'm also adding some sodium alginate. Now I'm needing all of these different types of uh, gelling agents because I am going to be creating these gel encapsulates. So we need the different types of gelling agents um, to help with the viscosity of the little gel balls, also to help make sure that there is that uh, semi-breakable outer gel shell so that the product remains as this fantastic encapsulate visual in the finished product but breaks easily when it's dispensed from the finished product packaging and rubs in easily into the skin. So now I'm just adding this to my water. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and this helps the gel form again because I need to have that uh, nice strong gel shell so that it maintains its form in the finished product until it's dispensed and rubbed into the user's skin. And then of course we need it to break easily so that it releases the actives in the inner contents. Now I'm just going to heat this. Now, as that gel forms, I'm just going to add my heat tolerant active. So you could use uh, various actives in this formula. I'm using a very moisturizing active. Uh, you do need to make sure that you select your active so that it is heat tolerant because of course we do need to keep this mixture warm above 55 degrees while we are pouring off the encapsulates. So we do need it to be a heat tolerant active. Now I'm just also going to add uh, a super fatting agent here. Now this material is gonna give some emolliency and help the product spread and break onto the skin when it's dispensed ready for the consumer to use. It's also gonna act a little bit like an emulsifier to mix the carrier phase, which is an ester material, with our gum phase when the gel is broken onto the skin during application. I'm also going to add a heat tolerant preservative. Again, needs to be heat tolerant. And then I'm just gonna add some color. And this is really for the visual effect. You could add whatever color you want here. Just make sure again you're using heat tolerant colorants. And especially if you're making a natural product, make sure that the colorants are accepted by a natural certifier if you're choosing to get your product certified as well. Now we need to maintain this heat at this stage. We wanna keep it around 55 degrees. We don't wanna overheat it. And then we just simply take some of this material and you can then drop it into your pre-prepared calcium chloride solution. Now this calcium chloride solution helps set the gels straight away so that again you have that nice uh, semi-solid outer gel so that the product has that great visual impact but dispenses and breaks easily on application for the end user. Now from here, we just need to rinse our little beads. So we just pour off from the calcium chloride solution and then just rinse them thoroughly. And you 
can see already what great gel structures they've formed. They've been nice and semi-solid there, but will break on the skin. Now we just put them into our light ester emollient carrier. And there you go, you've made your natural encapsulates. Now when you're ready to dispense, you just squeeze, out they come, and of course they break up so easily onto the skin, being that hydrating gel encapsulated in my light ester continuous phase for an absolutely beautifully moisturizing finish. And that's how to make your own natural encapsulates. Now, of course, you can use all sorts of heat tolerant actives and you can create all sorts of colors using this same formula. Just contact us, we're happy to give that to you. There's a lot of details and steps involved so that you can create your own amazing natural encapsulates. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.